In this video we'll be examining which towns and cities will be served by HS2 as it won't only be those cities on the route that will be served by HS2 trains. As soon as HS2 Phase 1 is complete it is proposed that services will reach Manchester, Liverpool and Glasgow despite Phase 1 only reaching the West Midlands. This will be achieved by connecting HS2 to the West Coast Main Line just north of Lichfield. As the line is extended further north, additional connections to the West Coast Main Line will be constructed, connecting HS2 to the existing line to the south and north of Crewe. A connection to the West Coast Main Line that would have been constructed just to the south of Wigan as part of Phase 2B is currently under review, so in this video I'll stick to the services that are likely to be introduced as part of Phase 2A and Phase 2B. But before I go on, you may be wondering how it is that HS2 will be able to serve places that aren't even on the new line. Well this will be achieved with the aforementioned connections to the existing West Coast Main Line. Working in conjunction with new HS2 trains that will be able to leave the core route and head north with services provided by so-called classic compatible units. These will be trains built to fit within the constraints of the existing network whilst also being able to travel at a high speed up to 225mph on HS2. This will work much like how Eurostar trains reach the Channel Tunnel before the Channel Tunnel railing, better known as HS1, was constructed. The trains will of course be limited to between 110 and 125 miles per hour on existing lines, but by using HS2 they will be able to free up capacity on the West Coast Main Line and cut journey times from key West Coast Main Line stations to London. Initially, it is proposed that trains will operate between Glasgow, Liverpool and Manchester to Old Oak Common, joining HS2 at Hensacre Junction located between Rugeley and Lichfield. Once HS2 Phase 2 is complete, trains on Liverpool, Glasgow and Manchester will join HS2 just to the south of Crewe Station and will then travel all the way into London Euston, as by that time the new station at Euston would have been complete. Once Phase 2A is complete, the number of services from Manchester and Liverpool will be increased, with Manchester expected to be served by 3 trains per hour and Liverpool 2 trains per hour. After the completion of Phase 2A, it is proposed that Hansacre Junction will be used for an hourly service originating in Macclesfield that will call Stoke-on-Trent and Stafford before joining HS2. In addition, a new service originating in Lancaster will head south, calling at Preston, Wigan and Warrington Bank Quay before reaching Crewe. At Crewe, it is proposed that a 200m long train from Liverpool will join with a 200m long Lancaster service, creating one 400m long train that will then join HS2 just south of Crewe. This will in effect create a single train and will therefore maximise the capacity of HS2 and free up a path for an additional service. With the Lancaster service calling at intermediate stations between Preston and Crewe, the Glasgow service will call only at Carlisle and Preston before joining the West Coast Main Line south of Crewe. This will help to maximise the journey time savings between Glasgow and London in an attempt to compete with regional flights between Glasgow Airport and Heathrow. Goldburn Link, which was proposed to date the line north to Wigan, which is currently under review, would have further cut the journey time from Glasgow to London, in addition to providing capacity for services from Edinburgh and Glasgow to reach Birmingham. However, if the link or some form of alternative isn't constructed, it is unlikely that there will be spare capacity between Wigan and Crewe for HS2 services between Scotland and Birmingham. With a northern link similar to Goldburn, it would have been possible to justify operating trains from Edinburgh via the West Coast Main Line and HS2 to Euston. However, without a link, the journey time saving would be negligible, so therefore it is unlikely that HS2 would serve Edinburgh. This is why I believe constructing some form of link is so important. With the link, however, it was proposed that a 200 metre long train from Glasgow would join a 200 metre long train from Edinburgh, with the trains joining at Carlisle to form a 400 metre long train. This service would then subsequently stop only at Preston before joining HS2. In order for this to be achieved, both Carlisle and Preston stations would have to be upgraded with platforms lengthened to 400 metres. As things stand, HS2 Phase 2B will only reach Manchester, with trains travelling underneath Crewe once this is complete. This will further reduce the journey time from Manchester to London and will allow for a new service to operate between Manchester and Birmingham. This service would take just 40 minutes, which is 46 minutes quicker than the current service operated by Cross Country. In my opinion, the link between the regions and Birmingham has been massively underestimated, as the planned arm of HS2 to Leeds would have also provided a huge uplifting capacity and substantial journey time savings between Leeds and Manchester. Manchester. Similarly, Scotland to Birmingham journeys would have also been vastly improved if HS2 is built in full. But as it is though, the only services from the north to Birmingham will be from Manchester. I think perhaps the proposed service diagrams best demonstrate how HS2 will benefit millions of passengers from London to Scotland, and I also believe they begin to reveal how HS2 will benefit passengers who travel via existing West Coast mainline services. But I'll cover much more about how HS2 will benefit towns and cities right along the West Coast mainline in the next video, and that will simply be called YHS2. 
but for now I've hopefully explained where HS2 will serve but if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and if you found this video informative please do hit that like button and consider subscribing it really does help the channel get noticed but I'm going to leave it there for today say until next time bye bye